Hey guys, what's up? It's JG here, and it is uh, early morning on Thursday, and I am very excited to be reacting to the 12th episode of Season 6 of Fear in Dreams. This is going to be a huge Grace episode, uh, along with Morgan. I've heard a lot of chatter about this on Twitter. I don't even want to wait. Let's just jump in. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I've heard comparisons to... Uh, the Walking Dead season seven episode one. So, let's uh let's find out. I got I got tea. I got tea. We'll get through this. I don't know. She's so beautiful. Like look at her. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh. Look at the colors of like the foliage. I'm colorblind, so don't ask me what color it is, but it's, it's unique. Is it pink? It looks pink. No, it, 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 is that her daughter? Does she die giving birth? Oh, wow. It was never picked up. Does he recognize her? Nope. So she's in some sort of dream. I, I wonder if she's on doorstep. Oh my. Oh, look at that beautiful color. Wow. It's like so established. This really better not be a whole dream. And she's dead. Yeah. Oh. And she did. You've already met her. Athena, yep. Okay. I'm on to this. The colors in this episode are so much. Like there's a lot. Walk around. Oh. This is Charlie, my apprentice. Oh, I was about to say, is that Charlie? I'm not gonna lie, Charlie had quite the glow up. <laughs> Staniel and Strand! They're like best friends now. Oh my god. Dwight! Does he have a kid? And Sherry? They get a happy ending? Uh, yeah, I, I know this is a dream and this isn't real, but my emotions. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And this is Tina and the boy over there. That's John. John. So nice to see such a happy family. After Dory. Stop. Oh my gosh! No, this episode. This episode's gonna wreck me. It worked, apparently. Well, in this reality. I don't know if it actually is real. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. Stop saying she's dead. In dreams? Well, I ever seen. That's what you're singing, right? Yeah, I guess. In dreams, the name of the episode. Oh, jeez. I think that th we were hearing Morgan like trying to wake her up, like speak through her, like uh, or, like the real her. I think this is all a dream. Oh, it's like looping. What's going on? I mean, dreams do like loop. Like you have like the same dream, and dreams are really short. She said, "I'm unconscious." Oh my gosh, the sound design is so good. Oh, they were attacked by the. Uh, the cult people does he have the key? oh is it the key is that what they want oh, no, and if it in. and if it's to and if it's to connect to the that mini series that's gonna happen maybe it's like a submarine maybe the submarine has like a so nuke oh uh-uh uh can you not can you not hurt her riley riley go away oh okay good job grace it's actually tragic because she has to like leave her daughter to like never meet her daughter to give birth. Sorry, I poked you with my stick. Look. <laughs> it's like a Morgan thing to say. I love the trope of kids born in apocalypse. Like I don't I don't know why, but there is just something up. Of course, there's a white horse, literally reminding me of Rick, which was uh also not a great sign. Rick was on deaths doorstep and i don't like that nothing good happens in barns so like this is uh not 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 a good not a good feeling <laughs> i was so scared that you'd be born into a world that didn't deserve you where i couldn't protect you but now 
I know that you're gonna be okay without me because you're strong. You were so strong. Oh, she's sounding like Lori to Carl. And you're gonna bring everyone to Killer within. Oh, that's creepy. That's a great visual representation of them, though. In her subconscious, like that is great. Okay, the actor who plays Riley is doing an incredible job. Oh my gosh. They're fighting together, one in the dream world and one in the real world. This is crazy. Oh, is Riley actually gonna die? I mean, granted, he's not like the big bad, but okay. I was like, I don't think they're gonna kill Riley off that easy. <laughs> she better not die. I think she's gonna die. I think they're actually killing her off. If we get a flash forward, can we keep this actress? Cause she's incredible too. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she's awake. Stop. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Trust trust Grace. Do it. Trust Grace. Do it. I don't like whatever like he's gonna bring, but just do it. So that's gonna set in motion some big things probably. The song choices are so good. Oh Athena! Morgan, what's wrong? Why isn't she crying? <gasps> Is she stillborn? Why isn't she crying, Morgan? No. Why isn't she crying? No. No. Morgan. 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 I'm sorry. They were my last moments. They were hers. They were hers. <laughs> it was going to be different. Oh my gosh. How? <laughs> How do you process that? Like, <laughs> I really thought we were losing both, actually. And then part of the episode makes me think that, like, oh, Athena's gonna live. I don't think it, I don't, I don't think it makes grace 100 percent safe though like she could still have some issues down the road um wow that was incredible the visuals the acting it's not what i expected at all to go for this episode and uh now the end is the beginning cult group they have now the key that I believe is leading to that submarine, I believe. That's with that web series or whatever. So. Yeah, that's that's tragic. That's. um. I think if it was Grace, I'd be crying a lot more. But being the fact that I'm not like super connected to the child, even though like we didn't meet Athena this episode. Um, it, it's still very heavy and very consequential and like it's gonna be interesting to see how morgan and grace react now after this because they thought that this child would bring 
everyone together and that this child would bring peace. And maybe this child will. Maybe it's, even though it's the death of this child, maybe the death of this child is like a huge wake up call for the community. Uh, I'm very curious to see now, as I say, very curious to see where it goes. Um, the bad guys have a lot of power now. Uh, and that could be, that could be very bad for the group. So uh, I I was very shocked by this episode. Very shocked. And it's a, it's a lot to process. It, it's definitely one of those episodes you might want to re rewatch a second or third time. It, uh, it gives me Killer Within vibes. I, I can see the comparison to season seven, episode one. Or, yeah, season 7, episode 1 of, of the main show. Yeah, this episode. Wow. Wow. Yeah, th this is the best This is the best season of Fear. Uh, and arguably, uh, it's, it's top 3. Maybe even. It could be. If this season ends up strong, it's, it's the best season of any Walking Dead show. It, it just continues to deliver every episode. Uh, you can disagree with what they did with John um you can hate virginia all you want but at the end of the day the story that they are delivering the acting that they are delivering the ways they tell these stories uh the visuals the cinematography everything it has been incredible this season and if it continues these these final couple episodes it is going to be one of the best seasons in the whole walking dead universe hands down Thank you guys so much for watching. I am uh, so thankful that you guys were able to join me today to watch this reaction. Uh, it was a doozy, uh, but we got through it. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the like button. It really does help the channel out. Uh, in many ways, uh, reactions of fear should usually go up uh, either late Thursday night or early Friday morning, depending on uh, how it is to edit the episode, uh, so just always keep an eye out for that. I'm also going to be putting out reviews for these episodes. Those will go up uh, shortly after the episode airs, so you'll see that around like 10 p.m. Eastern on uh, Sunday, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, again, thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a great day.